we want to evaluate the given trig expression. We want to express the answer in terms of u and assume that u is positive. We have sine of arctangent u divided by 3. If we start with the inner inverse trig function, arctangent u divided by 3 is going to be equal to some angle theta such that tangent theta is going to be equal to u divided by 3. So let's go ahead and model this angle on the coordinate plane. And we're assuming u is positive, so our angle theta must terminate in the first quadrant. So it might look something like this. Let's call this theta. So if we sketch the reference triangle, dropping a perpendicular, the length of the opposite side would be u, the length of the adjacent side would be 3. And now going back over to our expression, if all of this is equal to theta, we can evaluate this expression if we can determine sine theta. So now going back over to our triangle, sine theta would be the ratio of the length of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. So now we can find the length of the hypotenuse by using the Pythagorean theorem. So if we let this equal c, c squared would be equal to u squared plus 3 squared, or c squared is equal to u squared plus 9. And now we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation. Because we know the hypotenuse is always positive, we're only going to find the principal square root. So c is going to be equal to the square root of u squared plus 9. Now we cannot simplify this. This is a sum of squares, which does not factor. So this is what c is equal to, which is the length of the hypotenuse. So now sine theta is going to be equal to the length of the opposite side, or u, divided by the length of the hypotenuse, which is the square root of u squared plus 9. So this is what this trig expression is equal to. But you may be asked to rationalize this. So let's go ahead and do that. If we have u divided by the square root of u squared plus 9, we would multiply both the numerator and denominator by the square root of u squared plus 9. So our numerator would be u times the square root of u squared plus 9 all over u squared plus 9. So again, we could leave our answer with the square root in the denominator. Or we could rationalize it, and it would be u times the square root of u squared plus 9 all over u squared plus 9. Okay, hope you found this helpful.